Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. How y'all doing? How the kids? I'm Q the Coach 3. And today we're back with some more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet random Wi Fi battles. Today we're using some very, very fun stuff. Uh, we got asked to use Oricorio, and I'm a man of the people, so here we are using Oricorio. Uh, the rest of the team, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I first started the team with saying, okay, we're using Oricorio. But then I but I built the team uh, with starting out with Noivern because I was hanging out with the homies. And they were like, yeah, Noivern gets Psychic Noise now. And I was like, what? And then I looked it up. It's always had Psychic. So it's like, I didn't even, whatever, right? Like, it is not a big deal. But it's it is it is it's another move that can activate Throat Spray. Like, instead of Boom Burst, you know what I mean? You can use Psychic Noise. Granted, Boom Burst is always going to be better, of course, unless you're talking about a Ghost type or something like that. Um, but yeah, this is what inspired me to make the team. And then I kind of just like threw whatever other Pokemon on the team. Like... If we're going through the thought process real quick, I was like, okay, we're using Noivern and Oricorio. We're both weak to ice. Let's get an ice resist. That's offensive on the team. And so I put Samurai on the team. And then and then I was like, yeah, let's just put three other Pokemon on the team and see how it goes. Um, but basically, teams, I'll be honest, you know, teams not as good as it could be. It lacks a lot of synergy, but it's 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 gonna be trust, we'll be fine. We'll be alright. We can win some games. Terra Ground Oricorio might pop the fuck off. There's a very cool and somewhat like it's a unique mechanic, but also somewhat a could be bad, could be good mechanic uh, with Orcorio and Revelation Dance. So Revelation Dance actually acts like Terra Blast once you Terra. It'll turn into whatever type you tear it into, rather than uh, your primary type like Orcorio normally does. So before we Terra, it's an Electric type move, uh, but after we Terra, it turns into a Ground type move. So could be good, could be bad. We'll see how it goes. I've used it before on like Randbats and it's been clutch, but then I've also used it before on Randbats and then I like wish I still had my uh, previous stab when you don't have it anymore. And you can't, it's not like you can just run Thunderbolt because it doesn't get a Thunderbolt. Um, regardless, let's see if Oricorio can do it. Dancer's a really funny ability um, and uh, we'll see if we can pop off with it. If you guys want to check out all the intricacies of the EV spreads, they are in the description down below. We're also using Skuntank. Because three out of its four moves are brand new to Skuntank this generation. It did not get access to Gunk Shot before. It did not get access to Knockoff. And it did not get access to Super Fang. We're, we're rocking out with a max attack, max speed set with AV uh, and Aftermath. Uh, hoping to just click some buttons. We have Terra Dark to power up our Knockoff slash Sucker Punches. So who knows? That could be super duper clutch. Um, and then we have Hazard Setting Don Fan with Stealth Rocks. Cuss That Berry could be pretty fun. So I was like, fuck it, let's go. And then our team lacked any sort of speed control whatsoever besides Quiver Dance. So I was like, okay, let's slap a Choice Scarf on that Samurai. But yeah, man, this is the team we are going to be taking to try and find some random battles here in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. If you guys want to use the team for yourself, the team ID is in the right-hand corner. SFF4SH. Let me know in the comment section down below if you end up using the team and how it went for you, as well as any other new Pokemon you guys might want to see us use in the future. Let me know that as well in the comment section down below. But with that being said, guys, I hope you all like the video. I hope you all subscribe if you're new. And I hope you all enjoy the battles. And it's funny, their name's Batman, and we're using Noivern, so it's just kind of funny. Um, speaking of Noivern, gets hardwalled by a few of these guys. But we do have Swikey Noise for the potential Claude Sire. I don't know how much it's going to do. But it, it's going to stop it from recovering, which is nice. Um, Things that look good to me. Honestly, Samurai, like, it's a very telegraphed lead, but it also looks fucking amazing. I can just flip turn in front of everything. Um, We want to disguise... We'll disguise Zork as, like, Oricorio or something, I guess. That could be fun. Not that that's really going to help out with anything. But also, like... Leading off with the flip turner, if they do either lead Cloud Sire or go into it, uh, we'll be able to find out if it's water absorb or not. But I'd assume it's unaware. But you never know. You never know. You just never know. Batman is an ass man, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's see what they lead off with. Sarina. Okay, this is fine. I could just like raw sea slitch edge. I think our best bet is to flip turn for sure. We should always be faster. Even if they're scarfed. I could also flip turn into this. So I think that's actually what I'm going to do. I'm going to flip turn into my Skun Tank. And see what they want to do with that. They could just raw U-turn. They could also hard rapid spin on the Ceaseless Edge. Most likely they just click Power Whip here. I would assume. Um, and that'd be great. Because it shouldn't do that much to my guy. And I can just fire off a knockoff. 
Don't think I'd want a gunk shot. But uh, I'll probably just knock off. This gun tank actually looks like really, really good here. To like try and weaken the slow king. But I think we're going to get weakened pretty severely right now. Depending on what they go for, of course. Power shouldn't do that much to us. I'm thinking like 30... Oh. That'll always attack, doesn't it? That was a crit! I was like, that did so much damage. Yeah, it does lower attack. Fuck me, dude. Alright, well, we're still gonna knock. Very unfortunate. Especially them disrespectfully staying in is crazy. Them, di them staying in like that is insane to me. But whatever. Whatever. You know, what are you gonna do? Um... We can sucker punch the Gengar, which is great, but they shouldn't go out into that now. They probably go out into Don Fan if I had to guess. Which I suppose I just knock off as well. Damn, turn one crit. Things you love to see. Oh, they go Claude Sire. Okay. I mean, I'm just gonna click knock off then. And scout for unaware. Okay, that might be. It did like 30%. Earthquake, that's fine. I mean, I kind of want to know. So let's check. There's a few things we could check here. Claude Sire. If you're Spadef and I'm Skuntank, that knockoff should have done way more. But if you're Fizz Def, that did about the same amount of damage it would have done. But if you're Spadef and not unaware, then that did normal damage, which is funny. Um, I think I'm going to go out into my Samu. And start clicking Ceaseless Edge, because I've had it up to here. They do have a Don Fan and a Serena that can spin. So two spinners on their squadron, which is pretty nice. Uh, I'm just going to click Ceaseless Edge, though. They withdraw. Okay, who are we switching out into? There's no Ceaseless Edge switching, from what I can tell. Serena. Also, we have this to weaken the Slow King. What was I saying? This should 2 KO for sure. Never mind, it'll one kit KO. Let's go. Alright, so I'm assuming that was the spinner. If they do go Don Fan, I pro I might go hard out into my Zorark. I think it makes the most sense. And then click Will-O-Wisp. And see what happens. Um, I'm curious to see what they choose to do here. They go on a slow queen. Sir? Hello? Do you know what type I am? Do you know what type you are? I'm clicking this. I, I don't care this is bait. Yeah, I, I don't understand. I don't get it. Someone make it make sense. I don't understand what they're doing. I don't get it. Yawn. Was it worth it? Was it really worth it? You know what I mean? Like, was it? I don't know. Um, I don't think so. I'm going to go on a Zorik, I guess. This looks good. I don't get it. Hopefully they just attack me. Look at it. Yep, they withdraw. This is perfect. Wait, who who they double into? That's looking Claude side. This is great. Wait, this is huge. This is actually really huge. Because I click I'm gonna click Will O Wisp here. Cause if this is if this is um Spadef Water Absorb instead of Unaware, uh we win with uh this Pokemon. Not the one that's out right now, but the one that we're disguised as right now. <laughs> um, nice. Yeah, so I'm going to click uh, Hybrid Voice now. Oh, uh, so close. They don't... Okay, this is... Wait. Uh, is my Skunt Tank dead? No, right? Skunt Tank didn't die. Yeah, it did. It did die. Well, this kind of sucks. I was really hoping this Pokemon could do something. Um, I could always spin this. These two don't care about T spikes, of course. Um, I'll just click bitter malice in case they get weird and go out in the Gengar. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, we're still, we're still Sash. Like, we can still tank any one hit and do big damage back, which I really like. Uh, they could go out in a Don fan and try to spin here. Which would be great for us, because then I burn that as well. And then I definitely set up with this Pokemon and win the game. Um, yeah, I don't really know. Yeah, they do go Don Fan. Okay, this is great. I'm gonna just Will-O-Wisp. It'll be so funny if they spin. Come on, you can do this, Zorak. I believe in you. You got this. Oh, let's go. Also, 
I'm just realizing this now. I'm pretty sure Oracorio is like a bitch and a half to work with in Blender. Uh, so, yeah, that's I'm not looking forward to that. They do knock off, which is great. That was a crit. Crit did not matter, I don't think. But yeah, I think um I think we're sitting pretty, especially if I can, if I can get this bitter malice off, we're at a hundred percent sitting pretty. I think we just win with Oracorio. Yeah. Terra Ground might not be the best thing, but yeah. No, they Ice Shard. Okay, I mean that's fine. So Don Fan with Ice Shard. Burned. Status burned. Against my Warricorio. Uh, yeah, we're sitting kind of pretty, man. I could always roost as well. Like, yeah, I think we just go out. We, we just try. I mean, I think Noivern could do it a lot easier. Obviously, right? Um, but we're doing Oricorio, baby. Let's go. The real one. Let's do it. Because if they just click Ice Shard, oh, they're not. Let's see, do they have Ice Spinner? Do they have Rock Tomb? I'm still faster than everything besides Gengar. So, and, and if I get enough Spit F raises, right? The Gengar's not a... Oh, they Rapid Spin. That's cute. That actually still did a decent amount of damage. All things considered. Like, you know, Rapid Spin having low base power. Uh, them being burned. It's kind of weird. Anyways, big Quiver Dance. I think we get like three of them. And then I click uh, Roost. So I just want enough. Well, actually, I want enough to kill the um, bear tick. Knock off my boots. That's irrelevant. Yeah, I want enough to just knock out the bear tick. <laughs> From full. <gasps> and it looks like I actually just need two. Okay, perfect. So we're going to roost now. Amazing. Amazing. So amazing. Uh, yeah, now we just... What's it called? Now we just start hitting. If we miss this hurricane, then I'll roost again. And yeah, and prosper. I think Oricorio's doing it, dude. I think Oricorio... Really, bro? You couldn't give me my Oricorio satisfaction? Whatever. Get him out of here, coach. Batman's a quitter. You heard it here first. Batman's a fucking quitter. Shout out Oricorio. Let's go. All right, y'all. Here we are with the next battle. We see a very interesting sand team that looks kind of nice, not going to lie. Um, Zorok burning one of the physical attackers look super, super clutch. I don't know what I'd want to disguise as. I guess maybe Samurott makes the most sense. Um, Scarf Samu looks really good here as well. Um, I think, I don't know what I want to lead off with, honestly. Like, Donphan makes sense. I think Donphan makes mo the most sense as a lead. And we're going to disguise Zorok as Samurott, I think. Um, Dragapult's a huge threat. I'm going to need Samurott in the endgame. Yo, Loki or Koryo could also do. If I can Terra Ground in front of a, like, Terra Grounding in front of either Titar or Excadrill after we potentially burn it looks pretty nice. I don't think we're going to be, we're going to be able to burn one thing, maybe. And I don't know which one it's going to be. I'm hoping if if I get the opportunity to burn Landorus, Landorus, uh, Titar, or Excadrill, we'll, uh, we'll try to do that. I guess Skarmory too. I could burn that, but they could always Whirlwind, so I wouldn't want to set up in front of that. Um, but yeah, like Terra Ground looks really, really solid here. So yeah, let's see how it goes. Let us see how it goes. We're using Oricorio, baby. Ballistic the Spacey. Oh, this is... Great? Yeah, this is great. Um, I don't know what this guy wants to do. I, I guess could be screens pulled. This could just be offensive. Dragon darts never kills me. Um, and I think I just earthquake into maybe ice spinner. Eh, ice spinner is fine. Just raw ice spinnering is fine. Then you turn probably into Skarmory if I had to guess. I did a decent amount of damage. That doesn't really reveal anything. That just reveals that it has U-turn. Uh, it's probably choice specs if I had to guess. Yeah, this is definitely Skarm. Oh no, that's this. Oh, okay, this is fine. I'll take this. That's some decent chip. Um, and now, what do I want to do? This is an Ogre Pawn. Like, do you- I feel like- do you kill me? I mean, I don't have any sort of defense investment. I'm very much 
just max attack, max speed, Don fan. Um, but maybe maybe we can live. No, we never live. Okay, that's good to know. Um, hmm. I could burn this, which would be huge. I really don't want to lose this now. I think Noivern's HP is irrelevant. I think I'm going to go into Noivern, but then they just go into... Wait, no, that's fine. Yeah, we're doing that. Because, okay, so the, the, the plays that happen maybe is I go into Noivern, they hit me, right? Um, And then and then I get... And then they bring in Titar afterwards. Oh, I would have lived the Horn Leech, by the way. They, uh, they get Titar in afterwards. And then... Uh, uh, I sack this, obviously. And I get Zork in to click Will-O-Wisp against either Titar or Excadrill or Skarmory. Which would be great. Makalu. Yeah, this is fine. This is okay. Could have had Focus Blast on this Noivern, but Noivern Neu has such good coverage. Or, I guess a lot of coverage options. Um, and, you know, you can never have them all. Actually, we can just go Donphan instead. If I had Draco, i totally click it here, but I, I don't. Unfortunately. I don't, unfortunately. Actually, after a rapid spin, we outpace the, the Ogre Pond, don't we? No, unfortunate. <gasps> Whatever. We still go out into it. Just makes the most sense. Because we can rapid spin immediately if we think they're going to click what's it called. We can Earthquake as well on the next turn. Uh, this is just all in all like what I should be doing, I think. As they just raw Stone Edge. Okay, interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh, I think I'm just going to get up my rocks. I doubt they would take damage on this. They probably go out into what's it called. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to get up my rocks. If they stay in, they're crazy. They're crazy. They're crazy, bro. Like, for no reason. Unless we're both just trading rocks. Yeah, they're crazy, in my opinion. Like, I mean, that was probably a prediction. But whatever. Good, good... Good play, I suppose. They shouldn't. They definitely should have switched, but good play. Anyways, now if the Ogre Pond wants to come in, they're going to be taking Rocks Chip and Earthquake and Sand Chip. And surely uh, we'll be able to do some things because of that. They do withdraw now. Crazy. Dude, I'm just saying. That Earthquake Chip on this would have been abs astronomical. Oh, they go into this. Oh, perfect. I clicked Earthquake. So... I don't know, Earthquake plus uh, this chip might just do some damage. Yeah. If I had Ice Shard, it's over. Um, I will click Rapid Spin in the off chance that you turn. No, there's Draco. Okay, it should kill me. Alright. Probably could have saved Don Fan, but this is also a good excuse to get in Oracorio. Kind of. Kind of? What happens if I just do it? Right? Because, I mean, let's say it's, let's see, Dragapult, let's say it's choice specs. Uh, minus two. You know what I mean? Minus two choice specs against my Warwickorio, which they're definitely switching anyways. Oh my god, that does so much. Still? Never mind, they're not switching. Um, I really don't have anything faster besides this, and I don't really want to click water, uh, flip turn. Um, nah, I think I do. I think I do. I'm gonna take a little bit of chip, so if they're paying attention, they're gonna know later on that Zorik is not, in fact, Zorik. Uh, but we'll see. We flip here. If they go into Ogre Pond, they're just crazy. They're just crazy. I could very easily see Ceaseless Edge here. Like, that's kind of crazy, but it is what it is. Oh, that's not... Okay, nice. This might be Rocky Helmet. Now we definitely get our Revelation Dancer in. Let's go. Yep, Rocky Helmet. Um, I think I want to just go for game. They could just stay in and Whirlwind. Like, it's definitely a thing they could do. But I would assume they'd switch out in a T-Tot. Because this will kill you. I'm quivering. Okay, perfect. Because then we tear a ground in front of Titar. 
I need two Quiver Dances. Yeah, Makalu. Yeah, okay. Let's do it. I'm Terra Grounding in front of this guy. Pyrenator. Pyrenator. Let's see. If it's... Uh, Terra Ground. At plus two. Revelation Dance should kill. Potentially. If it's not like Max Spadef. I'm gonna do it. Um. Yes. I guess in theory, plus one, two KOs. So I could have just done that. But at the same time, I need to be faster than. I need to be faster than Exodrill and Sand, and I need to be faster than um, Boost to Energy Valiant. So I think these are the right plays that we're making. Let's see what they do. Hope, best case scenario, they just miss Stone Edge. What they might knock off as well. Like, knock off is very free against me. In theory. Uh, which would do a fuck ton. But then we could roost on the next turn. But yeah, we quiver again. Now we're, now we're not affected by the sand chip, which is great. Uh, I assume they knocked off. Nope, they edged. Perfect. Big damage. Holy shit. So we could kill. Like I said, if they're just offensive, we, we, could, we pretty much guarantee kill. Um, but I don't. I can't. I gotta. I gotta click roost. I think, because they're gonna knock off here, and then I roost again, and then we're probably sitting pretty. Yep, this should do a lot. That did a lot. That did about the amount of damage it should have done. But now, since we have no item, uh, we can in fact roost again. I don't know if we win this exchange though. Actually, if I can just do this until the sand goes out, then we do win the exchange. Wait a minute. Uh, yeah, wait a minute. Wait, we actually do. Because then they won't have the spadef rays anymore, and then we definitely kill them, no matter what set they are. So, yeah, we keep doing this. Because the sand should go out next turn, maybe? Or the turn after? So as long as we don't get, like, you know, crazily hacks from knockoff, we should be fine. This sh We should live this. Oh, ho, ho. We don't live the next one. Damn. I think I'm just going to go for it. Come on. Don't be max HP. Just be offensive. Ah. Damn. Or Corio is not going to do it, unfortunately. But, I mean, we get Samurai back in. We get to click Ceaseless Edge. I guess. We have nothing to scare out the, um... The Scarberry anymore. Like, they gotta switch this Pokemon if they want to win the game. But if I get up enough spikes, then they can't do it. So, yeah. I'm just gonna stay with Samurai and click Seasons Edge. Just makes the most sense. I mean, an endgame Valiant probably beats me as well. I would assume. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Definitely. Uh, But we click Seasons Edge here. Because if I get up enough T-Spikes, or T-Spikes, if I get up enough regular Spikes, um, we what's it called? Oh, they brought one of this. This is great. I'm going to click it again if we don't kill. Big Ceaseless Edge. Yeah, okay, never mind. Because, like, yeah, between Rocks and Spike, I think the T-Tar dies upon re-entry. And then that means they won't get up the, uh, they won't get up the Sand if they die to Hazards. So, Samurai might be the end game win condition now. Air Miles... Yeah, I think I'm just going to stay in and get up one more. Because we should live the Rocky Helmet and get up and get up our Spike. Um, and then we come in with this and click Flamethrower. Yeah, so I think I'm just going to do that. And then if they Roost here, I might save this. Big damage. But if they just Body Press me, that's fine too. But if they Roost here, I will save this. They Spikes! Wait a minute, folks. We got a fucking game. Oh, wait a minute, folks. Hold on. We're both spike stacking. This might kill them. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Let's go, Samurai. So we got... What, did we get all three layers up? I think we got all three layers up. Well, we definitely got... No. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah. So yeah, that T-Tar definitely can't set up sand, which is great. So honestly, I wish I would have saved my Noivern's Throat Spray, because that actually looks like a super solid win condition here. I think... I think... I think Skuntank might be able to live 
an Iron Valiant hit. If it's spe if it's special, we definitely live because we're AV. But if it's physical, it'll be a little bit dicey. Um, regardless, they can kind of go into it now and set up. If that's the set they are. Yeah. Alright, let's see what set you are. Because they 4 X resist this. If they're not speed boost, I might switch. Now nah, they speed boost. Okay. Mmm. <gasps> speed was heightened. This is super fucking tough. Oh, the Dragapult's still around. Uh, I'm gonna sack off, I think, the... Oh, wait, Samurott's at 44. How much does that do? Or how much is that, I should say? Because I think it's... That looks like it's in range of rocks and spikes, but we have to hope that it's not. Yeah, we sack off Noivern here. If they Swords Dance, they win the game, I'm pretty sure. I don't think we could come back from that. I don't think we can come back from that. Unless they, like, Terra into a Sucker Punch weakness, and then I Sucker Punch them. But that'd be silly. There's Moonblast. Okay, wait, this is great. This is huge. This is huge. Huge. Let's go. We're ready. We get in our gunk shotter and we gunk shot. Yeah, like that's that's what we do. That's that's the plays. <laughs> Those are the plays. Let's go. Um And then if they switch this out, that's fine. Razor shell mate potentially. Oh wait. How much did that just do to me? Hold on, I got a 179 to 135. This is just the uh, they did 25% and Samurott was at 44, right? Which I think is Oh wait, we'd live we'd live on like one. Anyways, we gunk shot here. They could switch. But I think that just opened that would just open up uh that would just open up Samurott. I think Samurott would just kill everything if they switch. Barring me landing razor shell, of course. But yeah, this could have been the Oricorio game, man. I got a little too antsy with like if I could have just burned the T Tar somehow, like that would have been that would have been how we did it. Um So I guess I should have disguised I should have disguised it as Oricorio like I did last game. Cause that would have that would have clutched it up for me. Anyways, hopefully we can land Gunk Shot. I wish I was running just poison jab now, but I was trying to be brave and do damage. Gunk Shot's a new move. Well not new move, but Skuntank got access to Gunk Shot in this generation, so I was like, let's run it, let's run it. Uh, anyways, they go out on a Clawless, which is in fact this guy. Uh, they could Rapid Spin, I suppose, but I think... Actually, no, we hard out in case they do Rapid Spin. That's what we do. Lefties. Because, yeah, Rapid Spin would suck. I need everything to be in range of Samurai. So, yeah, we're just going to switch. We're just going to switch. Because, yeah, if this thing does Rapid Spin, it wins. Rapid Spin, rapid spin EQ would win the game. So, we're going to go with this. And see what happens. See if our Samurai can clutch the fuck up with Razor Shell. I mean, if they don't Terra anything, then we win. Well, if they don't Terra... I guess if they don't Terra this. This is the only thing that could Terra that would fuck me up. Well, that would, like, fuck up the, the plan. This is not the real Samurai, I promise you. <laughs> I promise you, I confused myself for a split second. But then I was like, wait a minute. No, I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, let's go. All right, perfect. So now... um, Now we just Bitter Malice, I guess. Yeah, we just need to put it in range of Razor Shell. Because everything else should be in range of Razor Shell. Dragapult dies upon re-entry. Ooh, what's the last mod? Wait a minute. Wait. Oh yeah, Titar still up. Titar and Dragapult die upon re-entry. And and yeah, this is this is how we win. If Sa if Samurai lives the hazard chip like we think it does, because Spike and Rock should do twenty five percent, and we're at twenty seven percent, so we should live on like one or two. Anyways, they go out in a Makalu. This guy dies. Three spikes and a, and a rock. That's the rock. That's the spikes. All right, perfect. We clicked Bitter Malice. Dragapult dies as well. We might not outpace Valiant because they do naturally outpace us. But then we just bring in Samu and click Razor Shell and Prosper afterwards. So yeah, I just stay in. And then it just comes down to what is the Excadrill Terra. Excadrill could totally clutch it up for them, actually. 
Axie Joe could totally clutch it up for them. Uh, but yeah, let's see what they do. I don't think they go back out into it, right? That'd be silly. I think they would go into... Um, they have to go Valiant. That's the only way. They, that's the only thing they can do. Yeah, they have to go Valiant. Let's go. All right. Um, and they did get a speed boost earlier, right? So that means that that, that should mean their max. What's it called? I don't think I live here. Uh, but I will bitter malice. Do I live? I don't. Okay, I didn't think so. All right, let's go out to the real samurai and see if we win. And then we'll let um. We'll chip it down. If they have Shadow Sneak or Vacuum Wave, I guess, then we definitely lose. Like, we never were winning this game. Um, but if they don't... But if they don't... I guess I could have still went... I guess, yeah. I guess if they have Vacuum Wave, I threw. Um, because... I totally could have just went out into... Oh, they don't! Like I said, I totally could have just went out in a Skun Tank. And still probably live the Moon Blast because I am AV. I don't know, though. I actually don't know. So I'd have been at like half HP, I think. Yeah, yeah. Moonblast would have been like a chance to kill me. Alright, let's see what terror type you are, buddy. Because I just Razor Shell into Sucker Punch, I think. And... Oh, it's Dragapult. Yeah, I Razor Shell into Sucker Punch. I mean, if they don't terror, this kills. Even if they do terror, this might kill. Depending on what the terror is. I usually go Stellar, so like I don't even know what these guys are running. Poison, maybe? Flying? That's cute. I, I feel like we might still kill. I mean, they're at like half. And regardless, like Sucker Punch. I just Sucker Punch, so it's like, it's whatever. We do land. Amazing. Let's go. Samurai for president. You love to see it. And then the Dragapult dies to Spikes. So, I mean, Oracorio didn't really get to do it in this one. In the first one, it clean swept. It literally 6 0 which was great. We didn't get to see that happen because our opponent quit, but... We still literally 6 0 with it, which is great. Uh, this was a very long battle and a really good battle, to say the least. Shout out to Joe. I feel like if this is Joe from the comment section, that's pretty cool. Shout out to Joe from the comment section. I, I, I'm kind of like, when I first uh, queued up with them, I kind of thought it was because I'll show you why in a second. For one, this profile picture is similar to mine, not on my main, on my main account, not on my alt account, which I want. We're on our alt account right now, so it's not. It doesn't look similar. But this, hold on, if it pops up. Hopefully they don't leave immediately. Stay. Yeah, see? They have, like, Dreepy as, like, the zoom-in picture, which is kind of like, like, I have Dreepy as my zoom-in picture on my main account. So that's why I kind of think uh, they might be the Joe, CS Joe from the comment section. Regardless, man, that's going to be it for me today. If you all like what you saw and you saw what you like, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys thought of the team as well as any other new Pokemon you guys might want to see me use in the future. Let us know that as well in the comment section down below someone asked for Oricorio, so we rocked out with it you know what i mean and it kind of worked <laughs> it kind of worked regardless that's gonna be it from us today we'll see you on the next one peace